I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm Run! Beat. Run! Run! Oh! That's a weevil. What is going on guys, this is Epic Spot in the Undead here, and today I'm bringing you more grounding. Now it's been about a week since I've brought you another gameplay video, just because, um, where we left off before, I found this lab. Oh, it's a little lab! Go, 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 go! Woo! We have made it! And then, after I recorded that video, I played the game with uh, a friend, and we found the same lab, and... When we left, we were attacked by a wolf spider. Um, he was attacked, he was chased, I was behind him, and laughed as it happened. Not laughed, I freaked out. Um, but then I came in to my game to record another video and heard the same sounds. Uh, so I went to go do the same thing we did, which was to sleep and then run. And um, yeah, he was in, he was poking through the door before I could run. Um, so I spent a long time contemplating on what to do, and I haven't played for a while because of it. I'm like shaking real bad. I just got the chance to run out of there, and I don't know why that was any different. Like, l literally, when I tried that before, um, I slept and then he was there, so I don't know what was different. I didn't even hear him that time. You, like, before I, w I was hearing him. Yeah, no, I spent a long time trying to figure out what I was going to do in that situation. So there's a lot of stuff I want to do. I'm going to wait for it to get a little brighter. Hopefully I have plenty of inventory space. No, not really. But I do have a hammer. Where's what I need right now? Okay, so like I said, there's a lot of stuff I want to do. I want to make some better armor, and I want to make a better weapon. Um, which should not be that hard. I have done it. I've progressed a little farther with my friend than I have in this series. But I've yet to make this armor, so. We're just gonna. What I need is this hammer. I and I need to get a little closer to the dream to the to the tree. You can get in that. I'm doing it. Um, <laughs> I need acorns, is what I need. And probably some sap? How much sap do I have? I probably have it in my chest at home. Okay, I should probably decide what to get rid of right now. Okay, I have some room. I'm gonna collect this. Um, what do I call it? Sap clump? Because I be just because I know. I uh, it's also needed to make this I should be able to make this armor relatively easily once I have the once I have the acorns. This armor is not hard to make. For the acorns, all you gotta do is take a hammer and whack it. And it gives you the shell, the top and acorn bits. Now I need not a huge amount, but I do need some. And that requires me to walk around this tree with the constant threat of being attacked. Now, luckily, I should be able to hear him. Before I should be able to, to hear them before they get too close. So, I should, I'll be able to just run toward my home marker. Now again, I haven't played this in almost a week. I've been playing other things to put this off. Because in reality, this game terrifies me. Let's be real. It's not a secret at this point. I really wish I was recording with my friend and I were playing. Because I just, I would love to put in the clip of him just going, Run. Because he didn't talk to me about what was happening 
or why I needed to run, he just said, oh my god, run. I started running and then it was chasing, Come here, it was chasing you behind him. Huh. Okay, I have five tops and six shells and the acorn bits are really good food. I don't want to get greedy, but I don't, I don't know how much I need. Let's get up this branch. Okay, I know that's an entrance into the tree right there, and I know that's uh, not a very friendly place to go. I might, I might just leave, because I'm sure the ac acorns respawn, like drop from the tree. That's, a, that's an anthill or something. Okay, we're gonna try to make do with what we got. I think it'll be enough, and then I just need the sap, which I. I've already collected. I think it'll be enough. That was refreshing. The uh Oh, look at all the dew. I just need the sap and I need clovers and woven fiber. Oh, and mite fuzz, but I should have plenty of that and if I don't, it's not that hard to get. Now, I am also watching Markiplier's playthrough. And um the fact that his base near the mysterious machine over here got attacked by a wolf spider really worries me, but we'll get there when we get there. I'd much rather fight them in a... <laughs> I mean, I'm still terrified, don't get me wrong. But I'd much rather fight them in a uh, known, like, territory, like my territory, rather than their territory. <laughs> oh, warrior ants, here we go. Whoa! I think it's just the one. No, there's two. Get away from my house. So these soldier ants are not that hard to kill. Because you can dance around them and they can't turn around very quickly. Soldier ant, look out! Because they get stuck in their attack animation. And I and I can stun them with this thing, but. And they got me ant manables, so that's huge. It's actually what I wanted to get this episode. So instead of having to go get it, they just came to me, which is fine by me. What is he attacking besides my home? Is there something on the other side of that wall he wants? Hey. Okay, a little bug. Oh. Hey, leave my storage unit alone, please. Can't imagine the type of mess that would make. Stun him, please. Thank you. Ah! Cool. Is that it? Alrighty. Now, ah, I couldn't tell you why warrior ants just pop up out of nowhere sometimes. Um... They're actually attracted, them and the Wooker Ants actually are attracted by spoiled meat. I don't think I have any of that laying around. Oh, they dropped acid glands! I completely forgot they dropped those. Okay, actually, I actually need those. So, um, let's get rid of these needles. I don't need them. Actually, I can just drop them. I don't need to trash them. Or a blade. Okay, so let's check out what we need for the... First of all, I might be able to make this blade. No, I need grub hide. I can get grub hide now, I think. So... Ooh, for the ant club, we actually got all the manables we needed. We just need one more ant part. And I probably have some in my... Thing here. I do have a ton of ant parts. So let's take one. That can make an ant club. Okay, hold on. Let's let's stick the spiky sprig in here. And then this ant club. I don't know how good the larva blade is, but this is a tier two weapon. I'm assuming until I find more materials that this is the best weapon I can make right now. 
And this is great, does a ton of damage, and it stuns really well. So, now along with the Ant Club, I wanted to make the... Where's it at? Oh, I probably gotta... Hold on. I gotta go analyze the acorns real quick. Analyze! Sap Catcher Smoothie Station. We're trying to figure out the Sap Catcher, too. This should give me the... Yes! The acorn chest plate, face mask, leg plate. Hopefully we'll have enough left over to make a storage chest. Because it holds a lot from what I've seen. Um, let's go ahead and... And I was the acid lane. I didn't think it would let me do that. Oh, that's how you make rubber. I did know that. Okay. So now we have the analytics to make fiber. Alright, I need more woven fiber, which I think I have a ton of in that basket. I need more clovers, my fuzz, clovers, and sap. I'm pretty sure I have all of this in my basket over here. My fuzz, yup. Okay, I don't have woven fiber, but I have plant fibers, so let's just go ahead and take a stack of that. And what was the other thing I needed? My fuzz, clovers. I need to go get clovers. That's not hard, though. Let's just head over to my clover stash. My hard-earned clover leaves. That I plant every year. Then ants just come by like they own the place. Woven fiber. Right. I'm just gonna make a bunch of this. Oh, my sweetest fish are in the frame. Alright. I think I have the last of the plant fiber I need. Let me close the fiber. Now it's craft and equip the acorn face mask. Acorn chest plate, the acorn leg plates. Aw, oh, heck yeah! Hold on, what do I look like? Ooh! Okay, sick. Is a much higher defense than the clover stuff. And it gives me increased maximum health. It also has a side effect uh, with the set bonus uncrackable. And we're gonna go find out what that means. Uncrackable is hello. Did everybody see it? Let me know. Okay, so it actually doesn't say in game. I'm looking it up, and I guess um. People are guessing, and the very common guess is that it provides extra defense or possibly higher block durability similar to the plus blocking strength that the ladybug armor gives you. Now I didn't mean to see I didn't mean to see this, but also in the article it had like a list of other armors of the game right now. I didn't mean to see it, it was just there. And I guess you can make grub armor, and you can't get grubs unless you have a shovel. Now, if I have leftover acorn stuff, and I don't, <laughs> I need um, an acorn shell, and I don't have a leftover acorn shell. I didn't see how good the gra the grub armor was. I need one woven fiber and one acorn shell. So that might be... I might have to go back, get an acorn shell, and see what the grubs have to offer, because I, I haven't used a shovel yet. So let's just... Oh wait, no, I don't want this in my inventory, I want this out. Get out. Okay, I have to travel back, get some more acorns. I might as well get some more anyway, because I'm pretty sure there's like a ton of different uses for these things. And then I'll just be right back. Okay, I think I can go ahead and craft it right here. Dude just dropped next to me. It's very loud. On your woven fiber. Damn. There's some grubs right here, that's why I wanted to make it. I think these are grubs. The things 
crawling around in the ground. Okay, I don't want to be hanging around when it gets dark. So I'm just gonna go ahead and run back and just pick up plant fiber as I go. In fact, I have enough right now. Make the shovel. Did it go to my hot bar? No. Get down to my way, Clovers. Let's get it into the hot bar here. And then I don't know if I have to dig in a spot where I see things like digging. Or if I could just dig anywhere. I've never done this before. So we're just gonna pick a spot in our garden. Okay, I don't think it's doing anything. Okay, it's almost night time. I'm gonna wait to sleep. And then we actually got a lot of stuff done very quickly. I was uh, prepared to do that for a lot longer. But um, so after I sleep, I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the tree where we saw the grubs burrowing. And uh, hopefully get some grub leather, just because I I don't know what I can do with it. Um, and then I actually have one more thing I want to do before I get off, and hopefully it would be very beneficial. I'll go ahead and talk about this while I'm waiting for it to get dark. I don't know whether or not to do base building for a video or. Out outside of a video, or I could just time lapse it or something. I just know that's probably not the most exciting thing to to watch, and I don't want to have a two hour long recording session just because I don't I don't got that I don't got that time. Uh, but now I have floors. I think I have I have like roofs. I have a better chest I can make. I can make something to collect water, which is was which, which is the other thing I wanted to do. I just, um, this is clearly not big enough for, for all the items I want to, all the stuff I want to do. I mean, I guess it, I guess that's not fair. I could stick the dew collector, I'm just going to say it, I'll stick the dew collector out here and stick on my roasting spit and table in there. It's just, these grass walls are so easily knocked down. Well, I guess I can make a repair tool. I don't know, man. This game's hard. And then have like a little perimeter wall so things have a little harder time getting to my house. A little small one, not huge. I'm gonna keep cutting acorns as I see them just because I don't want to keep having to come to the tree but I am back here just because I want that acorn bit no thank you uh, just because this is where we saw the grubs in the dirt before There's a lot of acorns here what the heck and I just I don't want to spend too long looking for these I don't know if there's a way to like Make them spawn or to attract them. But um, see, so yeah, I'm just going to the to the last seen location, hoping to find them. There's a ton of gnats. What the heck? Oh, that's right. All the acorns are back because it's a new day. You get a ton of acorns, and not to mention the acorn bits. The acorn bits are really good food. And I don't have to worry about getting a uh, meal that much. Not as often as I was before. Still haven't seen a grub yet. Okay. So I went to last known location. And I don't see any. So, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna travel over to where I know where I can get web. And hopefully we'll just see grubs on the way, somewhere, somehow, in some form. It's no women crime, but better 
And I don't know. Maybe grubs aren't any good, but I would like to figure it out. So there's a lot of caves in the game, okay? And eventually, exploring these caves is probably going to be really beneficial and really scary. And you can't carry the good weapons <laughs> and a torch because the, the good weapons are two-handed. Unless you can get a stronger spear-like weapon. Like, these weapons are two-handed and you can't carry a torch and, like, the ant club. So I don't know how to light my way while still able to do some damage. Quite the complication. So, in order to get spider web, you have to kill a spider. Unfortunately. However, there are much smaller spiders we can take care of. And these much small spiders also drop web. So we're gonna go ahead and head over to where I have seen them. It's good. And there's a good chance we're gonna see something else. Like, I know there are, like, orb weavers up here, but I think... I'm in the clear up to a point. I'll run if need be. I don't want to lose all my new stuff. Spartling. Yep, that's what I wanted, right there. Why is it such a nasty noise? Okay, so he dropped two silk, and you see that uh, just automatically get, gave me the dew collector. I need five in total, and he dropped two, so I'm gonna have to make one or two more trips in order to make this thing. Oh, there's a stink bug over there. Probably can't face that yet. But that's okay. I'm not sure where else I can find those Spartalings. That is the only, to like, to my knowledge, I, like, as far as I found, like, that's the only place I've seen them. So I'm just gonna have to go back there after I sleep to collect the silk I need. But I really wanted to find a grub or two before I got off. So I'm gonna try a little hard to do that. But this has been a pretty successful episode, if I do say so myself. You know what I can do with this shovel? There's a, uh... A clay deposit next to where I camp out. I can fi finally, at the very least, figure out what clay is for. I think it's just over here. Yes, I see it. <laughs> Ding. Why is clay so hard? <laughs> And I'm doing it with a shovel? Oh, I give you a ton. Clay foundation and clay ramp. Okay. Foundation? Let's go analyze it. So it's a building material. We probably could have guessed that. I just don't know what it means by foundation. Like, um... You can make... Weed scaffoldings, I believe? And is it is it just to keep, like, the floor off the ground type thing? Okay, let's analyze the clay. And then the wet armor dummy and a weapon wall mount. Cool. Okay, that's awesome. What else can we do the web? A basketball hoop? No thanks. <laughs> can I make a basketball? Because if I can make a basketball, maybe. Well, what would I? <laughs> Whatever. So, how, what, how much does it take to make a foundation? I wonder. Probably base building. Solid level foundation upon which to build. Yeah, so it's just to keep, like, your floor off the ground, it looks like. It takes a lot of clay to do that. Does the clay, like, come back like everything else? Because otherwise, I don't know how you get that much clay. Okay. So, I looked it up. I'm going to try to refrain from looking stuff up as much as I can. 
Um, but, so yeah, we saw them by the tree because that's the only place they spawn is by the tree. Of course, go figure. So I'm gonna try really hard to find some before I, I, I end the video. Yeah. Crumb! I see it! Oh, I got it! Whoa! Holy crap, that's huge! Grub meat, grub goop, grub hide. One? How many grubs I gotta kill? Holy crap! Oh, there's another one. Wow! Okay, he dropped two. Okay, good. Like, if it's one per, this is gonna take forever. There's another one up there. I don't think I want to get that close to the spider's nest. I'm gonna be real honest with you. I'm going for it. Something just touched my effing leg! Probably my computer. Nonetheless, I'm terrified. He dropped three grub hide! Inventory is full. Suck my ass. If I need more, we'll come back in a later episode. But we got quite a bit of stuff, I feel like. So we're gonna go check out what this stuff does. I didn't even see if there's if any recipes came up on the side of the screen. I don't think they did. Uh so we're gonna go up to the lab and analyze it first. Cause I know I can make there's the my hat I can make. I think it was called a my hat, and that increases like stamina. Stamina management. <laughs> okay, so we got grub hide. We got eight grub hide, which is awesome. Grub leggings and grub goggles. And then goop. None. Oh, you, you you need it for this smoothie station. All right, and we'll check out the the smoothie station at some point too. But let's go ahead. We got goggles, leggings, and a vest. It's probably not gonna be better than my acorn armor, I would assume. But we might make it anyway, just to see what the what the set bonus is, because I don't know. See, this is what I was talking about earlier. The the my hat. Increases stamina efficiency. I can make that now. Grub vest. An aerodynamic vest made for the smooth grub. High leather. That lends a boost to maximum stamina. Stamina. Okay. I think. Okay, I don't have enough to make the whole set. Because it gives you max stamina with each, with each piece, but I want to see what the set bonus is for having all three items. So maybe I'll make that in the future. I'm not gonna worry about that right now. I'm just glad I'm just glad I, I got to see what it does. Rubber. Let's see if there's anything else that I missed that I've seen that I got new today. I don't think so. We got the clay smoothie station. Do collector basketball hoop shoot hoops with friends. Woo! Spike trap, plant lamp, armor dummy. See, that'll be fun. Just just so I can make stuff and put it on the uh, on the dummy. Where do I make like torches, tools? I just, I don't know what to do about lighting for caves, but that is gonna be the end of this episode here. I'm very glad I'm not, I'm gonna try really hard to not let my fear of spiders stop me from playing this game. This is honestly probably the most fun I've ever had recording videos, and uh, I'm super proud of the videos I make, I'm super proud of the progress I'm making, I'm super proud of the thumbnails I'm making, and this, 
Honestly, this game is a lot of fun. This is probably one of my favorite crafting games. One of my favorite survival games in a long time. I was slowly, slowly trying to desensitize, my, desensitize myself to the spiders and be able to kill them. I am going to wait until I have good gear, though. I think the ladybug armor is the best you can get. Um, I'm not sure about the weapon. But once I have some adequate equipment, we'll definitely go for the orb weavers. But... It's, with all that said, I want to thank you so much for watching, and uh, if you're following along with the Let's Play, I would appreciate uh, if I got any feedback on whether or not to do base building in a video or outside a video. I'm not sure what to do there, but I went with Joe Day, and just in just case I don't see you later, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. Bye!